After being diagnosed, I began researching COPD. I was lucky enough to find the COPD group and the chat room. I found the Let's Get Fit group and I decided to join both. I suggested naming the team Eager Pacers. I played an active role in these groups and was captain of two teams. I know that all of these programs changed my life. I felt that maybe there was some hope for me after all. I learned from these strangers about my illness and soon they became my closest companions. They knew better than my doctor what I was going through. They could offer advice and knowledge that only a person suffering from COPD could understand. Since my ordeal, I have done more than I did in my entire life before. I've been to Arizona and California twice. I've been to Florida and explored Disney World. I took a two week long trip driving from Texas to Canada. I saw the White House and the Arlington National Cemetery. I found my way through a cornfield maze in the Amish country. I stood in front of the Statue of Liberty and saw where the Twin Towers once stood at ground zero. But perhaps the most beautiful leg of this trip was seeing Niagara Falls. It's hard to believe that only a few years before I couldn't even talk and now I could feel the splash of the falls on my face. So this is my story. It started when I was 14 and foolish and picked up my first cigarette to fit in. I've knocked on death's door more than a couple of times, but I'm here. I hope that my story will show that COPD is not a death sentence. No matter how close you are to the brink of death, there is still hope. So live each day like it's your last. There is still hope for the future. I try to remember this quote that always seemed fitting for me, who so loves to laugh. Don't take life too seriously. No one ever made it out alive. Thank you.